What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and today we are going to have a detailed review of ZT Axon 35G smartphone that comes with the second generation under display camera. So we will talk about its design, most highlighted features, display, performance, camera quality and all of its pros and cons. But before we start, if you are new to this channel, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon as well so you do not miss any future videos. So first of all, let's talk about the most highlighted and important feature of the ZT Axon 30 and that's the under display camera. ZT was the first brand to introduce the under display camera and since then it has improved the technology to provide a better user experience. ZT is using the pixel enhancement algorithm and the display optimization algorithm along with the new materials with higher transparency and the seven layers of material to provide 400 ppi on the screen surface area above the under display camera. So the PPI PPI of the screen above the under display camera and rest of the screen is exactly same and because of that it is extremely difficult to locate the under display camera so it overall enhances the user experience a lot and provide a complete viewing experience without any punch hole or the notch on the display. The under display camera now receives more light, it is more transparent, so the camera performance is way better compared to the previous generation of under display camera, but we will talk about the front facing camera performance in a while. Now talking about the display, it comes with 6.92 inch 10 bit AMOLED display with full HD plus resolution, 120Hz refresh rate and 100% of DCI-P3 color camo. So the display quality is really brilliant, the colors are punchy, the screen is so bright and the 2.37 million is to 1 contrast ratio provides a very sharp image on the display of ZT Axon 30. The huge screen with under display camera provides a great viewing experience whether you are watching movies, playing games or just browsing the internet because there is no punch hole or notch to affect your viewing experience on this display. The 120Hz refresh rate provides a very smooth experience while navigating on ZT Axon 30 display and it comes with three different eye comfort certification. So we got TUV Rhineline SDS and the UL certification for effectively reducing the blue light and protecting eyesight while using this device. Talking about the hardware specs and performance, the CT Axon 30 comes with Qualcomm Snapdragon 870 processor that is one of the best Qualcomm Snapdragon processor and then we got Adreno 650 GPU up to 12 GB of RAM and 256 GB of storage. So the performance of ZT Axon 30 is really impressive whether it's day to day usage, heavy multitasking or high end gaming. Especially the gaming performance is very nice because it comes with triple cooling system. So we got a large vapor chamber, we got the graphene copper matrix composite material and a high power heat transmitting gel and the combination of all these three provides a very nice heating management that allows to use the ZT Axon 30 for hours of gaming without heating up the device or affecting the gameplay. It comes with 4200mAh battery that is not too big considering the current trend of battery capacity in flagship smartphones but the performance is quite impressive and you get around one and a half days of battery life on moderate usage very easily. It also comes with lots of power saving modes and battery optimization options that we can use to even improve the battery life further but it would be still nice if the battery capacity was a bit more it also comes with 65 watt quick charger that charges the battery pretty fast whenever it goes down and one thing i'm missing here in terms of battery is that it does not come with wireless charging capability talking about the software side zt axon 30 comes with android 11 with my os 11 on top of it the my os 11 is very lightweight skin as it is pretty much close to the stock android and just comes with few additional features like zpop and different icons and themes to give a different visual appearance. The user interface is pretty easy to use, very smooth and the 120Hz refresh rate display contribute in that smooth experience as well. The in-display fingerprint sensor is not the fastest one in the market but it is fast enough to provide a nice user experience and it is quite accurate as well. It also comes with some additional features that allows you to quickly access few particular applications after unlocking the device with fingerprint sensor and you can even customize the fingerprint animation styles. Talking about the entertainment, the 
combination of a huge 10-bit AMOLED screen with no notch or punch hole and the DDS X Ultra speakers provide a very nice entertainment value whether you are playing games or listening music on the speakers. Talking about the design and build quality, on the front side we got a massive screen with great screen to body ratio with 2.5D curved display. So the front side is quite flat compared to other flagship smartphones with nice curved edges. The device is just 7.8 mm thick and it weighs only 189 grams. So even though the screen size is pretty huge because of the high screen to body ratio, slim and lightweight body, it is easy to use the device with just one hand without facing much issue. The front side is protected by Gorilla Glass 3 but the device does not come with any official IP certification. So this is an important thing that we are missing here on ZD Axon 30. It comes with dual nano SIM card slots and the SIM2 slot can be used as a micro SD card slot as well. But the most impressive part of the design of ZD Axon 30 is the back panel. It comes with nano scale micro beam texture that creates a very nice holographic color effect. The camera bump is also very small and the camera module design is unique and beautiful as well. But it would be nice if the ZD and the 5G branding was a bit smaller on the back panel. Also the gloss used on the back side is just a regular one instead of the Gorilla gloss. So this is another thing that could be better on this device. Now talking about the camera, we got 16 megapixel front facing under display camera and a 64 megapixel quad rear camera on the back. We got a 64 megapixel primary camera with IMX682 sensor that is a bit low compared to other smartphones in the same price segment. We got an 8 megapixel 120 degree ultra wide angle lens. 5 megapixel macro lens and 2 megapixel depth sensor. So I would personally prefer if there was no macro lens or 2 megapixel depth sensor and instead of that there was optical zoom lens on the CD Axon 30. Now talking about the performance, the 64 megapixel primary camera captures nice images with good amount of detail and nice color reproduction. The low light imaging capability is good enough and the night mode also helps in improving the imaging quality in low light situation. The ultra wide angle lens performance is nice and so is the 5 megapixel macro lens performance that captures very nice amount of details on close up shots. In the portrait mode you can select the level of bokeh effect, the beautification and also what kind of lighting effect you would like to have on your subject in the image. Then it also comes with few additional features like the manual mode, monochrome mode, long exposure, watermark magic shutter to capture some fancy images. The multi-camera mode is kind of useless because when you record a video using the multi-camera mode, it uses the different cameras to project the image on the screen and then just records the screen to make a video instead of using the camera lenses to record the videos individually and merge them together. Under the video mode, you get plenty of options like time lapse, slow motion, movie mode and vlog to capture different kind of videos. In the vlog, you get lots of options that you can use to quickly capture a small video to post on social media and most of them work quite nicely. The zooming capability of the camera of ZT Axon 30 is good enough up to 5x and after that it starts losing the quality as primarily it is just the digital zoom we are seeing here. Now talking about the front facing camera, compared to the previous generation of under display camera, the performance is increased a lot but it is still not good enough if you compare it with a smartphone having the front facing camera in a notch or in a punch hole. In broad daylight in outdoors it captures good quality images and videos but once the amount of light reduces, the quality of the front camera output reduces a lot. Also it does not come with many front facing camera modes either for the pictures or the videos. So even though the primary feature of ZT Axon 30 is the under display camera, it's not the camera quality. When it comes to video recording, the primary camera captures good amount of detail in both the daylight and low light situation but it struggles a bit if you record videos at 60 fps in low light. The front camera records nice quality video in plenty of light but in low light situation or at night when there are 
lights in the background it creates hollow effect that reduces the video quality a bit for sure so overall zd axon 30 is a very nice device and it comes with its very own pros and cons the design and build quality is nice the display is just too gorgeous the overall performance is very impressive the battery performance is nice and it comes with 65 watt quick charging the triple eye care certification and the triple cooling system allows you to use the device for hours without facing any issue and overall the camera quality is quite good as well but the device does not come with any waterproofing it lacks the wireless charging capability and the front facing camera quality is still not good enough if you like to take selfies all the time so that's all for now friends thanks for watching this video if you found it useful then give it a thumbs up share it with your friends subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and i will see you guys next time in another video have a nice day